Hey guys, Vova here. Guys, so one of the best Amazon FBA tips and tricks is this one. And it saved me exactly $4,580. And it's all about adjusting the size and weight of your product to the right Amazon fulfillment tier. Let me show you how it's done and save you some money. Hello guys, after I finished the research for my fifth product on Amazon, and you know, it took quite a while because, uh, you know, product research is something that just takes quite a while on Amazon. But after everything was nailed and sort of right, uh, I had to message different suppliers on Alibaba to find the right manufacturer for this product. And after I got the messages back, I saw an opportunity there. And what did I see? I actually saw that you can lower down the weight of the product and the size of the product just by a little bit in order to get it into the right fulfillment tier of fees on Amazon. What does that mean? That means that as of right now, I'm able to save $1.52 per each sale, guys, because the product is placed in the right category of fees. And let me take you to my computer and show you exactly how I did it. Hey guys, welcome to my computer. And we're now on Amazon's fulfillment fees page. And as you know, for each sale you make on Amazon, you pay a fulfillment fee, which pays for the pick and pack of your order, the ship and handling, the customer service and product returns. All right. So the goal is obviously to pay less fees, right? So the best place to be is here, a uh, standard size, small item. Now, what is a standard size, small item? A, stand a small standard size item is any packed item that is 12 ounces or less with its longest side of 15 inch or less, its shortest side 0.75 inch, which is just about two centimeters guys, or less, and its median side 12 inch or less. So say my camera would not fit this uh, small standard size because definitely on its shortest side, it's uh, more than two centimeters or 0.75 inch, right? Now, what happened to me was the following thing. When I contacted my suppliers, right? to, you know, to give me the quotes, they quoted me that, you know, the, the, uh, the weight of the item, uh, 360 grams, which is equivalent to 0 0.79 pounds. And you might say like, all right, Vova, so 0 0.79 pounds would put you here in standard sized large item because standard sized large item that weights one pound or less is uh, an impact item that's 20 pounds or less with its longest side of 18 inch shortest side of eight inch and median side of 14 inch or less. Now my product falls under these, um, you know, sizes, inches. Um, and obviously, as you can see, it's 0 0.79 pounds and that's one pound or less. But actually, if I were to go with this size and I mean this weight, I would be placed here. But you're asking like, why would you be placed in one pound to two pounds if your product actually weights 0 0.79 pounds, right? The question is good, guys. And the answer is shipping weight. Amazon adds shipping weight to the weight of your product to calculate the final uh, fulfillment fee, right? So let's take my unit weight, which is 0 0.79, right? So we have the unit weight plus packing weight, which is for uh, this specific uh, category is four uh, ounces is about 0 0.25 pounds. So 0 0.25 plus 0 0.79 would actually give uh, 1.04. And this lands my product here in large standard size, one pound to two pounds size. And that's 4.70 bucks, uh, 4.71 bucks per sale, right? So what I wanted to do was to reduce the weight of the product to 0 0.74 pounds, all right, in order to add this 0 0.25 unit weight, I'm sorry, packing weight to my unit weight to get it to 0 0.99, right? That would place it here. 0 0.99 pounds is exactly the number you want to have, uh, the maximum number. You obviously want to have it less to be in this um, standard size, large one pound or less category, that's paying $3.90 per sale. Now, as you remember, it was this. So my product was actually about 360 grams, right? 360 grams. Now, what I had to do is uh, I had to just lower 0 0.05 pounds 
But how do you do that? Like you have your product, you have the packing, you have everything. Like, how do you do that? So that's interesting. I had to cut a part of the product, guys, all right? After speaking with my factory and uh, confirming that this would not affect the performance of the product. Um, cutting the weight of the plastic bag that it was uh, packed into and cutting the weight of the insert, right? There was like a paper insert, which was pretty big. I had to reduce the size of it and the quality of the paper just by a bit, all right? And the, you know, the size of the paper just to uh, remove some weight, all right? And eventually we were able to put it on this size and weight. So it was 3.39 actually, right? And that's where my item was placed, 0 0.74. Um, pounds all right and then we added this 0 0.25 pounds and that yielded 0 0.99 pounds which placed my item in a standard sized large item that weights one pound or less all right and what did these give me that means so instead of paying 4.71 right I was paying 3.19 right so that's here and that's $1.52 saved for each sale. We had 3,000 of this product, 3,000 units. And that's the uh, final amount that we've saved per sale um, for these 3,000. Now, what would you do with $4,560, guys? You can do many things. You can buy more products. You can, you know, buy yourself a vacation. You can whatever, but it's a lot of money. So yeah, that's something to definitely think about. But how do they calculate that? So they have the Cubiscan. <laughs> Cubiscan is a machine that actually calculates your product size and weight kind of thing. And it sucks. <laughs> I mean, sometimes on Amazon, like you, you're sure about your own product size and the weight and you submit it to Amazon for a Cubiscan and you just get like your own numbers. I don't know what how they do that, why they do that, but they make a lot of mistakes. And I just suggest you guys to try again, open another case. If you're sure that your product is actually, you know, in the, if what you're claiming it to be, right, then definitely ask them to uh, check it again on the Scooby scan, right? Awesome, guys. So I hope you find this information valuable. And the next product that you're going to be launching or the one you're tweaking right now is going to be placed in the right fulfillment tier so you can save more money. Guys, if you like this video, please hit the uh, thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more information like that. And I'm going to see you in my next video.